Our story starts in Sheffield, a hard industrial city in the north of England. This is where many of Britain's top rock stars hang out. If you want to make it big in climbing circles, then this is the place to be. Ben Moon moved up from London to make his name here. Now he's joined the ranks of the world's elite. Jerry Moffat, a legend in his own street and well beyond. Jerry is one of the most successful pro climbers on the circuit and well known for his love of speed. Here's my baby. Lancia HF four wheel drive, 16 valve, turbo, delta. <laughs> minutes drive, no, 10 minutes, no, 5 minutes, 5 minutes drive. You ask me why I like Sheffield, I like Sheffield because it's accessible to the cliffs. This is the Peak District, gateway to some of the best gritstone climbing in the world. And this is why this place has become the center of British rock climbing. Everywhere you look, there's something to climb. Crag after crag of pure friction. The boys just love it. They've come out for some final training before taking on the challenge of Fontainebleau. bouldering most is just because I'm really into the difficulty aspect of climbing you know I'm not into dangerous routes anymore I mean I did them when I was young and I just want to you know push myself to my physical limit and okay you do that on routes but you're never doing 
you know, the hardest possible moves you can do because you're always doing moves maybe 20, 30, 40, 100 foot up and you've already done something to get there, so you're already tired. Bouldering, it's all about, you know, your absolute maximum level. I prefer bouldering in the winter, because it's like too cold to go out climbing. I prefer climbing in the summer. It's not like I prefer bouldering to climbing. Although I do prefer bouldering to climbing. <laughs> Mainly because it's just like, in the winter, it's just like you can't go out and sit around peeling, somebody's freezing. And so, being in England, it's like winter for like uh, most of the year. <laughs> it's best to get bouldering, and it's just like nice friction and stuff like that. And really, you're not left with much choice for, do for doing other things. So that's why we got bouldering, and also it's just such good training for climbing. We have a lot of fun together, going out bouldering and mucking around, and you always have done, and that's the important thing, you know, it doesn't matter how good a climber is, if you can't go out and have fun with him climbing, then it's not really that much use, is it? I'm looking forward to going to Fonsberg, because there's a lot of good hard problems there that I haven't done. I mean, I have done quite a lot already there, but there's a lot of hard problems that I haven't done. I'm looking forward to uh, croissants. One of the problems that I'd like to have a go at is Karma, which was done last year by Frederick Nicole. And I've seen some photos of it, it looks very cool. Um, and that's like 8A, I think. So I'd like to specifically have a crack at that. Looking forward to uh, those little cheap beers. You're buying the big cases of 25 for a fiver doing all the classic problems, doing some easy circuits, a few hard problems. Some uh, panda chocolates and panda raisins and shots on palms, all those little things from the patisserie. <laughs> and basically just getting in a lot of really good quality climbing. Oh, it's a bouldering, I'm going climbing. I'm going climbing up on some blood. France, and yeah, another English invasion was on the way. The boys had put together a posse of Sheffield boulderers and were heading down to Fontainebleau to teach those Frenchies how to climb on their own soil. The thing
thing about road trips is to try and get to where you want to go as fast as you can. Now on first inspection, the prospects didn't look too good. They were hoping for cold, clear, blue sky, perfect bouldering conditions, but that's not quite the way things panned out. So we've just arrived. Hey, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Well, no, we've just arrived, yeah. What? Okay, we've just well, arrived we've just in the pond there, and as you can see by the weather, it's not too good, so we're a bit gutted. We've been looking forward to this trip for the last couple of months, training like headless chickens. We're all in tip-top condition, apart from Jerry. Well, that's um, me. Hey, come on. But say we're that. hopeful, we're hopeful because we've got them out. Seaside to be here then. Yeah, very sight. Yeah. Are you going to get any climbing done today? Maybe, maybe, but uh, but without doubt, this is the greatest bouldering location in the world. Miles and miles of sandstone boulders litter the forest floors, offering every conceivable grade of climb, every style of problem imaginable. French kings used to hunt here. Now climbing gods come here to crown their own achievements. For us. We tell the maid what we want to have for dinner. Yeah, and the table <laughs> comes at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Sitting room. Living room. Washing machine. Dishwasher. Swiss chalet, isn't it? Look at that. What's that from you? We don't want to step well, get, Oh, it's horses. <laughs> horses bed over on the right. Well, you go do a bit of riding tomorrow, I think. Well, who's the best at cooking? Who's going to cook dinner? Yeah, uh, that's terrible. terrible. I can't cook. I'll cook. I can't cook, won't cook. Get up, old lord. Get out. Private property. Get to you, Private property. Get out now. Get dug Get out. Get the good. Get the good. Get the good. Get the good. Get Fido! Fido! Kill! Fido! Kill! The next day, the boys seemed to be in luck. The rain had gone and the clouds were beginning to clear. Everyone was in good spirits. Ben felt totally confident and thought it was going to be a breeze. And Jerry, well, Jerry, just as ever, he wanted to make sure he was going to look good. It was time to climb. Thank you. 
I climbed in a lot of places and I bowled in a lot of places and for me Fontainebleau is, well I think it's the best climbing you know in the world. We're in you know the woods and the rock, you know the type of rock and the sh you know the shape of the rocks and the style of the climbing. You know it's really unique. I, I've you know I've not come across climbing like it and we just love it. Nearly all the problems in Fontainebleau, they're very powerful but also very subtle and the holes tend to be very slopey. Um, not too many crimpers, not too many edges and it's very subtle the way you, when, well, the way you sort of take the handhold. You have to set your body in the right way so you're not so much technically working out where the holes are and what to do in them as more you're working out where to place your body and in which angle to hold the holds so that everything will work together and when you sort of get all that subtlety and the power at the right time it's very special. Everyone's optimism was short-lived. The rain was back and this time it looked set to stay. Stuck inside the house, the guys were far from happy. As you can see, we've had a little setback. Uh, it's our fourth day here now and uh, things aren't going too good. Uh, spirits were good yesterday, but we've had one day's climbing out of four days, which is not on, and uh, yeah, we're f***ed off. <laughs> then, just to make them feel really bad, snow! The first snow in Fontainebleau for three years. Overnight, five inches fell, turning the forest into a winter wonderland. It looked pretty, but there was a movie to be made, and one man just refused to be beaten. Room in hand, Jerry braved the Arctic conditions, determined to clean off at least one problem. But eventually, even Jerry had to admit defeat. Yeah, we got here and we felt really strong. I had an injury, as I always do, and sort of got through that and I was just starting to feel really strong. I felt really strong the first day and then the weather just crapped out. And uh, now it's all snow and it's been greasy. It's been the worst weather I've had. I've been here like nearly every year since 82. And this is about the worst weather I've had in a week. Very unlucky. And it drizzled and it dumped it down with snow. Mind you, that day we had in the snow was one of the best days I've ever had in Fontainebleau.
the snow. So they were back in Sheffield with their tails between their legs. Okay, they'd been blown out of Fontainebleau, but were they going to quit? No. These guys were determined to finish the movie. That's me, and this is mine. My wall. That's where I do all my work. Not. Hi, Jared. Hi, Jared. Hi. Hi. Now, more psyched than ever, the boys got straight back into some serious training, desperate to return and conquer Fontainebleau. That was a personal best. That was a personal best. You just gotta be like positive, round positive. Because before, always got to like seven, it just been a mental block. And that time I just thought, got really aggressive. And I said, I'm just gonna go through it and just power through it. And I haven't been, I haven't tried that exercise for probably over a year or something like that. And uh, that's the first time I tried it and I just feel a bit stronger. Bang straight through it. <laughs> we have another go at that. I can't be burnt off by him, he's an old git. It's 33 hey, today. Hey, get in. It's my birthday today, I'm 33. <laughs> Five nine, that's a personal best. Been trying that for a couple of years now, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Very complicated move, really. You just sort of dine out with your left hand and then dine out with your right hand. The boys just couldn't believe how strong they felt. 
Now was the time to go back to Fontainebleau. So without hesitating, they packed their bags, this time taking along Sean Miles, just in case he turned out to be lucky with the weather. Here we go again. Sean certainly worked wonders with the weather. It was hot, I mean really hot. In fact, it was more like the south of France. Too hot to climb, and being Brits, the boys soon started fantasizing about bad weather. I had this wild dream, all right, that we came here and it snowed. But what did it do? It came here and the sun came out. And what I say is you can't beat drizzle, drizzle and smog and mist. So this is what the weather's like, check it out. <laughs> Ben's known to get the fast suntan. That's just one That's day. That's what it's like. It's hotter than hell. It's hotter than hell, yeah. Well, it was too late to turn back. This was their last chance to finish the movie. Despite the heat, they headed off the next day to tackle more problems. And hey, who was waiting for them? None other than German rock legend Kurt Albert. With Kurt on the team, spirits were high. This was going to be a great day. Yeah. Get away. Strict. <laughs> Rule number one.
one of my favorite climbing areas, Fontainebleau. Just a, it's a unique place, all these little blocks, very nice shapes, like a fairy tale land. I like to, to live here, uh, to, to stay here, to enjoy climbing. That's reason enough to go regularly to Fontainebleau. 30, 40 times. You don't need a rope, you don't need any heavy equipment, any gear. It's just the pure kind of climbing. Bo Bouldering is also very com communicative, is this the right word? It's always a little group of people who, does, who discuss the problems and it's just because I like it. Cheese. Yeah. Oh, Kurt and Kurt Stammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, yeah, it's true, Kurt. Give it all the cheese. Get out. This is what you need to climb Fontenay 8B. More important. Well, you know, beer as well. <laughs> 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 Look at all the cauliflower he's got. Look at all the cauliflower he's got. That isn't fair either. Yeah, give us that. What? All the cauliflower. No, he's got it. I've got a beer. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy In the company of strangers, in the quiet of the railway station running scan <laughs> After a party like that, it's hard to get going. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel this morning, Ben? Strong? <laughs> I feel good. I feel strong. I'm 
unfortunately I'm going to have a rest day there. <laughs> Last night I dreamed that I started doing a pull up and said, oh, they're red light. <laughs> it's like 20 but I'm pulling. Isn't it good? Uh, and then you had a cafe here. Everyone agreed it was time to kick back and take things easy. It was a weekend, so they decided to go and check out the local talent and see if they couldn't spot any of the big names in French climbing. True to form, the rocks were packed. Climbing in France is big, and in Fontainebleau, whole families come down to the forests for the day to relax, meet old friends, and climb. Their luck was in. They found Monsieur Fontainebleau himself, Marc Le Menestrel. Now Marc's been in the forest for years and he agreed to show the boys some really special problems, a bit off the beaten track. The forest is very important for me. It's one of the places I feel the best in the world because this forest is, is very good and climbing there is fun. You can climb with people and friends and it's good. I try to keep this um, kind of magic, you know. Sometimes you do hard things, but it's, it's a little bit magic. That's what I like. I prefer to concentrate on other things than um, gradings or things like that. After Mark's display, the team was inspired. So they made the decision to fuel up with some classic climbing fodder and then get straight back out there.
With a few practice climbs under their belts, it was time to try the big one. Karma, the 8A problem that Ben had been talking about ever since deciding to make this movie. There it is. Nice, in the sun as well. We won't get cold. <laughs> Now it's not good anymore. Because that is the way it's good. Now it's good. I think I predict. Do you want to make a prediction? I'm going to flash it. Nice one. Oh, I'm not going to get you beats on it. See some of it. Eh? Get you beats on some of it. Yeah. Oh! Sun is sending class. Actually, it didn't feel like it'd be too far to go. It's a long way, but I think you would reach it. That's Not really too bad, actually. Should we do? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> go short. Yeah. Nearly. Just a little bit to the right. Nearly. How far off, man? Three inches. Three inches. Three inches. What's up with you? Karma's probably one of the coolest problems I've ever done, and uh, it was something I really wanted to do when I, you know, even before I'd set off to Fontaba. Uh, it was one of the like, last, supposedly one of the last great problems at Fontaba, but I'm sure it isn't. Um, and I think, you know, what makes it so special is, you know, the shape of the boulder. It's the only way up that boulder. It's very pure line with just this sort of thin seam running up its side and ending in nothing. Uh, you know, and it combines sort of powerful climbing with technical climbing and it's just like a really cool problem. And that's what climbing like Fontainebleau is like. It's just the best. Well, that was it. The boys had achieved everything they'd set out to do. Ben had climbed Karma and Jerry, well, Jerry had at last realised his full Hollywood potential. There was only one thing left to do. Party in Paris! <laughs>